What's up guys, Houndish here, and today it's time for the weekly reset in Destiny 2. Of course it is December 8th, so time is flying by, and Season of the Hunt continues. So we're going to check in on Europa, all of our activities, any of the new quests that might pop up this week, as well as updates from our friend the Crow in the Tangled Shore. But also today we have the first Iron Banner of the new Destiny year, so we'll cover what's worth knowing there, the quest rewards, pinnacle power drops and all that stuff. And then we have a game update for today as well. We've got the return of the Prophecy Dungeon, as well as a few fixes, and the next gen upgrade for Destiny 2. So we do have plenty to talk about, plus our other relevant activities, vendors, and more for this week. So guys, as always, if you enjoy this video, feel free to get subscribed so I can keep you up to date on the world of Destiny 2. But now, let's get into it. The very first thing that we should talk about today as we contact Destiny 2 servers, but upon signing in we can see a cry from beyond to speak with the spider. And yes, it looks like the Hawkman quest is now going to be live in the game. So we can see right here, we need to, uh, need to head to the spider, sorry. Pretty exciting stuff, man. And we just got into the game with, of course, a bit of server downtime. But yeah, I'll keep you posted, guys, if this grants us the access to Hawkmoon that we suspect it is going to. And uh, it'll be a pretty interesting quest to see how that one unfolds. Good luck with the hunt, and I will keep you posted once again with that quest later on. But otherwise, of course, the Prophecy Dungeon has returned to the game, so we can see we've got Pinnacle gear. And Bungie have said that we'll get powerful drops on checkpoints with that pinnacle drop happening once per week via the milestone on the clear. So going to be pretty awesome to jump back in and finally play the Prophecy Dungeon again. And then otherwise, our Season of the Hunt content, of course, continues outside of what we predict is that Hawkmoon quest. So carry on getting upgrades and all of those kind of things. And then, of course, there is the reset on Europa. So we've got a new Exo Challenge, and that's going to be Simulation Survival. I want to say new, of course, an Exo Challenge now in the rotation since we've seen all three of them. And the Eventide Ruins is going to be the Eclipse Zone once again. We can see as well the Dark Priestess is this week's featured Empire Hunt, so that's Pinnacle and Powerful Gear, as well as the Deepstone Crypt resetting right there. Otherwise, of course, the Stranger is going to have her Fragment Quests, and Bungie have said that these will keep showing up even after you've unlocked all of the available Fragments for the subclasses, so essentially no need to keep completing them if you have all six of the uh, Fragments for each Stasis subclass. But otherwise as well, we can see that Concealed Void is dropping uh, arms today. But in the Cosmodrome, Vela's Labyrinth uh, is also dropping arms armor at 1280, so I guess the uh, Europa one would be the easier option for the moment. Up next though, let's speak about the Iron Banner, of course, returning for Season of the Hunt. So, Lord Saladin is back in the tower, and as we've seen in previous seasons, he does have an opening quest to unlock armor, the engram, and all of those kind of things. And this comes with lots of the season-style unlock steps in that quest line. So, defeating opponents, capturing zones, various ability kills, weapon archetype kills, super kills, match completions, and all those kind of things. Take a little bit of investment to get done, but of course Iron Banner does come with a lot of pinnacle power drops. And the armor for this season is a reprised Iron Will armor set, so that's been updated with new kind of combat mod slots. I believe can be found via the Engram, giving lots of chances at high stat rolls on the armor. But also, of course, endgame enhanced mods. And we can see, as always, the banner bounties will drop the pinnacle power gear. And then the two brand new weapons for this season, or reprise weapons, should we say, include the steady hand, the aggressive frame hand cannon. And with the two trade slots, we're able to get things like quick draw, outlaw, killing wind, moving target, but also swashbuckler, new bonuses like wellspring, but also mulligan and snapshot. And then you have the two iron banner bonuses that we had from last season. So iron grip, which massively improves weapon stability at the cost of reload speed, and iron gaze, which massively improves weapon target acquisition at the cost of weapon range. But also there is the Guiding Sight, another high impact weapon in the form of a scout rifle, once again from year one but reprised with random rolls. And you got bonuses like Rapid Hit, Quick Draw, and once again new bonuses like Surplus, but also Vorpal Weapon, the two Iron Banner bonuses, and one for all where hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. So there could be some interesting rolls on these weapons. And let us know if you're going to be jumping into the Iron Banner this week down in the comment section. And here, as we move to the store, we can see that the Hawkmoon ornaments are indeed available uh, for silver. So you can grab those if you are interested. We'll have a quick preview right here of the On Ashen Wings ornament. Pretty cool looking thing. But then in the Bright Dust section, we do have Welded Brass, uh, the Stasis Projection, the Helison Corvette uh, ship, and then we've got the Disc Jockey emote right there on the front page. But also the Infine Omnium shell, the Sand and Sun ornament for Travelers Chosen, Yesterday's Auger for the Eyes of Tomorrow, Ada One's Lone Wolf, and then we've got Let's Chat, as well as Rasmussen Projection, and the Forbidden Visage Mark. Cabal Entrance for Transmat Effects, as well as Shieldbreaker and Harpy's Cry. 
And then we've got Iridescent Coral, Petiolora Growth, Mercurian Sunrise, and Cerulean Divide for shaders this week. The Inverted Spire is the Nightfall ordeal this week, so have fun with that one. And otherwise, of course, Pinnacles and Powerfuls are on the Director as always. Iron Banner is the kind of featured mode, and of course, Trials will be coming back, not this Friday, but next Friday on the 18th of December, so bear that in mind. Other mentions for today, though, would of course include the game update that we've just had. So, initially, if you are on next-gen consoles, these do require a re-download of the game, so quite a bit more to download. That's if you're on Series X or a PS5. And I will link all of the next-gen details down below if you need any support. Although, once again, those updates are now available. And then for the rest of us, there are a couple of additional changes inside of the update. So, of course, the return of the Prophecy Dungeon, but also the ability to acquire bounties from Destiny 2 vendors using the Companion app. Of course, we've had the game update, but that will also require a Companion app update, which should be happening today. And then, of course, fixes for exotics, things like Icefall Mantle, Mask of Bacris, and Necrotic Grip, which aren't kind of massive, massive changes, but are some quality of life things worth bearing in mind. And I will link the patch notes for the update down in the description below. Final bit of gameplay content stuff, though, of course, would be in the Dreaming City. And if you are completing any of the Forsaken content from a couple of years back, the Agonarch Abyss is the Ascendant Challenge this week, which is the one found immediately behind the spawn in Devalion Mists in the Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector, so it's actually a pretty easy one to get to. And otherwise, for today, guys, that is everything that we have to speak about inside of this video. So let us know if you're jumping into Destiny 2 again this week, and of course, what you'll be getting up to. I'll be keeping you posted on all of the news, so be sure to stay tuned here. Be sure to keep it locked here on the channel, turn on notifications, and get subscribed. And I'll keep you posted with all of the updates. For now though guys, whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome week. Kurt, you're so deep into the well. Guardian, down. Guardian down. 